actors. We will give you a chance after the show to take pictures. Um, we'll do a full cast picture as well as any other pictures you would like. So please refrain from doing that during the show. Um, one of our actors came down with the flu yesterday. So we have Griffin Frankson playing the part of Faggy tonight instead of Ariana Spencer. So thank you and we hope you enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. 
means he took a load of the night. Miss Marty tossed my book across the room. Again. Oh, please. You don't know what toss is until you've been tossed by a tornado. What means this bird tornado? Ooh, ooh, let me explain it. A tornado is this great wish of wind. That sounds like a freight train. It goes round and around like a carnival ride. You know something, Pollyanna? Only you can make a tornado sound noise. Did anyone see the red book just taken? I believe it was White Bank by Jack London. Oh, no. Not White Bank. I'm going to use that old one. Not me. I'm glad he's gone. He used to chase a photo all around the workshop. Yeah, and he was always putting on my boots. Well, look at the bright side. At least Miss Marjorie sold another book. She didn't sell the book, Pollyanna. She gave it away. Miss Marjorie's got to stop doing that. I know. If business doesn't pick up soon, she's going to have to close the bookshop. Oh, to live what will happen to us? Who cares what happens? Us. It's Miss Marjorie who I'm worried about. Yeah, the shop is for life. I just wish we could help. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we raise some money for her by opening a lemonade stand? I'm afraid we can't, Pollyanna, but it violate the two rules that were established for us by the book fairy. Oh no, you said it again. Said what? What do you mean? Did somebody call my name? Hello, book fairy. Tom, I didn't hear your greeting. Hello, book fairy. That's better. Now, what do you need my assistance with? No assistance, book fairy. Mr. Holmes was just explaining to me why we can't open a lemonade stand. Only, he hadn't gotten to that part yet. A lemonade stand? Oh, no, 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 no. That's simply out of the question. You know the rules I laid down for you when I gave you the gift of life. Yes, book fairy. How about we go for them one more time? Yeah, those are big mouths. Can anybody tell me the first rule? Ooh, ooh, I get it. I get it. Yes, Pollyanna? Rule number one. No leaving the bookshop. Actually, you're not allowed to leave the building. Miss Martin's apartment is right upstairs. And, well, I don't recommend going over there. It is their territory. Good to know, Book Fairy. And the second rule, anybody? Ooh, ooh, call on me. Call on me. Anyone else, please? Yes, you, Mr. Holmes. Rule number two. We must never permit ourselves to be seen or in any way perceived by human beings. A little worrying, but correct. Rules are dumb. But Thomas, in a gun for you to see rules, leave when they are told. That's right, Heidi. You've got to realize. I went way out on a limb for you guys. I mean, no characters are supposed to come to life in a normal way by being read. Here it comes. But when I realized that was going to happen, I decided to step in. We know Book Fairy, and we're all very grateful, but we can't make an exception just this one? Absolutely not. Do you know what chaos it would cause if the human flames are burning around? I have to insist, if you break either of the rules, they'll disappear into your books. How is that supposed to work? I'm not sure, but it won't be good. Now, if you please excuse me, I have to go with her spell up here. I understand she's missing. Oh no, what happened to her? What do you think? She's gone with the wind. Can you believe that book fairy? It sounds like a storm. I know. Isn't it wonderful? Stop, please! Sorry, Mr. Hood. I thought I had her. This is lost. What is lost? This is lost. Not even this is matter. That foul feline stole my hat. Wait a minute. Don't you steal from the rich? What? Oh, sure. What is the difference? I can never deny the steal to the poor. So, it's okay to steal as long as it's stuck on the internet. Yes. Well, not exactly. I mean, it's complicated. Not as complicated as you make it out to be. I'm more as awkward as you. Then you use up the wicked witch issues. Wait, no. The good witch gave them to me. Oh, so it's okay to keep something that was swiped as long as someone else did a swipe If the person's dead, it's not swiping. Technically, <laughs> it's not <laughs> swiping. <laughs>
did our business finally turns around. See, Barbarina, we have a customer already. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. A lively story. No, really, we appreciate a lot of customers. No, I mean, that's the name of your store. A lively story. What? Oh, right, I forgot. Tell me, do you do a lot of business here? Oh, yes, we sell oodles and oodles of books. Well, maybe not oodles, a couple books here and there. Interesting. Very interesting. And you have people come in and look through the books. You know, without buying anything? Oh, sure. We can take it. We can take it to the local, but not very often. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. And what about the police? What about the police? Do they come in? No one's around at all? Oh, no. The police were made up in this place. Nothing much really happens around here. Excellent. Excellent. What are you looking for? Is there a particular bed you'd like to buy? What? Oh, no. I need to sell it. Oh. You do buy books, don't you? Well, yes, but I prefer to sell them. You make more money that way. Oh, but you all want to buy this book. It was given to me by my great 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 grandfather. He was a general in the Civil War. One thousand and one vegetable dishes your family will love? Oh, yes. You should see some of the recipes. Well, sure, I'd like to, but there's one problem. What's that? Well, it has a lock on it. So it does. So it does. Do you have the keys? Let me see. No, I sure don't. Well, then how am I supposed to know what's in it? Oh, I can tell you. On page one, there's a next set of two. Then on page two, there's a green bean casserole that's out of this world. Well, that's great and all, but are you going to go home with our prizes book so you can tell them what's in it? Oh, I see the difficulty. Yes, yes. That would be very awkward. Hmm. I suppose I could try to break the lock. Oh, no. You must never do that. Why not? Because this book is priceless. My great 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 grandfather would be devastated if anything happened to it. The lady's still alive? I suppose not, but I don't want to take any chances. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't buy this book. Not even a little bit. Not even a little corner. My great 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 grandmother will be very disappointed. I'm sure she'll be over it. Well, on the other hand, maybe I would like to buy a book. Wonderful. What kind of book would you like? Oh, you know, one with a cover and some more inside. Okay. Nobody <coughs> thinks it's an excellent book, and I'm just a door blocked to Rousseau. Oh, I can never go on with like women. Fine, fine. I'll take them all. Really? That's great. I really think you're going to. Miss? Miss? Mom, what did you say that lady went? Oh, that's odd. It's almost as if she didn't want the books at all. Oh, well. We still have the whole day ahead of us. Maybe someone else will come in. Oh, Barbarina, I'm so tired. Your story didn't wake me up last night. Would you mind sleeping on here tonight? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll be fine. I'll leave a baby, your favorite pillow. Now you'll be comfortable.
practical value. Yeah, what's a valuable life from a vegetable recipe? My point exactly. There must be much more than some recipes inside. A treasure map, perhaps, or a secret message. Now we have to open it. But how? We don't have the key. If I have a pocket map, I can bust it open. It's a good thing you don't look at her as if we look. Tom, do you have anything else we could use? Let me see. Marbles, two days, a magnifying glass, some string, and a dead needle.
We don't know. Can you tell me what it's about? Oh, it's about this paper. No, no, I know what's inside. It's content. Oh, jewels! What? You'll have to excuse me. She means the book is a jewel. It's so well written. Ain't that right? Uh, yeah, it's got some good words and stuff. Okay, it's not what to go on. I'll see what I can find. Could this be it? No. Is there something wrong with it? Yeah, it opens too easily. It opens too easily? See, we're looking for a book that don't open. Well, then how are you going to read it? Oh, we're not going to read it. We're going to smuggle it. What? Snuggle. You know, put it close to your cheeks. <laughs> oh, no, on second thought, maybe you should just look for a book yourself. We can do that? Sure, just put them away when you're done. You got it, please. This thing is. Oh, 
only about a million times. And was it called 1001 Vegetable Dishes Your Family Will Love? Yeah. How did you know? Because I'm holding it right now. What? Let me see that. This is the book, all right? And see, there's a secret compartment. Yeah, but where's the necklace? I don't know. Maybe it fell out. Look around. Well, if it's here, I ain't seen it. Maybe it's invisible. <laughs> you, Meatball, boss and I have a smoke on invisible necklace. How would he know we delivered it to him? How would he know we didn't? Ah, you got that to me, though, right? Say, now that I think about it, what would he lose that kind of suspicious? Maybe she picked the lock and decided to keep the necklace for herself. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to come back tomorrow and make it one of the necklace. Now let's scram. Ow! What'd you do that for? What are you talking about? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> this is bad. This is very, very bad. <laughs> I know Miss Margie would like to pack my peppermint muscle hand. She would never steal that necklace. Perhaps she recognized that the necklace was stolen and handed it over to the proper authorities. But if she doesn't have the necklace and those bugs come back, they might do something terrible. Have no fear. I'm the one that's always been all of England. I shall cut them to ribbons. That won't work. We can't let ourselves be seen. Hey, why don't we write Miss Margie a note? Oh, sure. And we'll sign it. From the characters inside your books. Call Mrs. Ryan. We can give ourselves a bed. No, but we can sign it or we can serve friends. Miss Margie will never know what came from us. A brilliant suggestion, Dorothy. Ah, who shall serve us for us? Don't look at me. I'm not going to do it. I'll write it. I have the best
Wait, what do you mean? You saw how upset you got when we talked to the little books on the floor. You think we'll have them be rough up on the books? No! Don't you dare hurt that book! I'm not gonna hurt it. I'm gonna bend it. Hey! Now you're gonna handle the necklace for the shoes. Sure, I'll give it to you. I just don't have it right now. What happened to it? I, uh, I had to take it somewhere. So I can get it back. Alright, I'll give you one day. But if the necklace stays inside that book by tomorrow, we'll do the same thing to all of these books. Understood. Come on, Vegas. Oh no! They broke the spine! On the adventure of Sherlock Holmes, too! Oh, on, Marina. There's no time for that now. I have to go and try and find that goes just like this one. You'll be here all right by yourself, won't you? Good. I know I can find you. Now remember, we take all our time checks and remember to give everyone the receipt. Thanks, Heidi. At last, I've 
to a book with a secret of pardon. This is how the Jews smuggled. Only thing is, this isn't the necklace that was smuggled. Gee, officer, I guess I need you got a lot to tell. Could this be of interest to you, Constable? This is the necklace, all right. But what were you doing? Me? Oh. Uh, I was keeping it safe from those two bill tracks over there. I don't know what he's yapping about. Sure you do, Eddie. That's the necklace we was going to smuggle. Shut up. You know your problem, the thing is, you have to look at all the time when your brain is still on break. <laughs> But I don't understand. If this is the man that was most, then where did the other one come from? The entire store? The entire store. 